new legal nightmare for Colorado over the legalization of retail pot. Sheriffs from right here in Colorado joining those from Kansas and Nebraska in a lawsuit against our state, claiming our pot laws are unconstitutional, costing neighboring states money to enforce. 7 News reporter Jennifer Kovaleski always investigating, digging into this lawsuit. And Jen, it's about money and the rule of law. And this 40-page federal lawsuit was filed in court today. It's the third and latest lawsuit filed against our state over legalizing pot. Sheriffs in Nebraska and Kansas say that they're paying the price for legal pot in Colorado, while local sheriffs are calling Amendment 64 a constitutional showdown. I am not here by choice as a sheriff. I'm here by necessity. Lead plaintiff Larimer County Sheriff Justin Smith announcing details of this 44-page lawsuit in Washington, D.C., asking a federal judge to strike down Amendment 64, shutting down Colorado's more than 330 really retail pot stores. The primary point of this suit from my involvement is to bring this case where it belongs in front of a court of law. Under Amendment 64, Sheriff Smith says Colorado is asking him to violate his oath of office to uphold both the U.S. and Colorado Constitution by forcing him to decide whether to disregard state or federal law. Should I follow my oath of office or should I not? A handful of sheriffs and county prosecutors from Nebraska and Kansas are also a part of the suit. They're calling out Amendment 64 for a significant influx of Colorado source marijuana, blaming Colorado weed for increasing law enforcement costs. It seems like they have all these laws in place pertaining to marijuana and do's and don'ts, but nobody does anything to make sure that that's happening. Dual County, Nebraska Sheriff Adam Hayward is one of the plaintiffs. Last year, he showed 7 News all of the Colorado weed he claims is ending up in his county. Every bit of this that's in here you can buy from a dispensary in Colorado, and every bit of this came from Colorado. Supporters of Amendment 64 say the lawsuit has no merit, claiming it's a last-ditch effort to derail Colorado's legal pot laws. These guys are supposed to be law enforcers, not legal scholars. They should be enforcing the laws approved by Colorado voters and created by our elected officials. The lawsuit is filed against Governor John Hickenlooper. He's not yet been served this lawsuit, but says he respects the will of the people and has asked the federal government for guidance. Reporting live tonight, Jennifer Kovaleski, 7 News.